this website thing is driving me crazy but at least this makes the fridge makes a nice desk hey wait a minute this isn't a Prius don't worry the Prius is still alive and well today I've got something different for you and pretty special this is my first conversion it is a Land Rover LR3 so hold on here we go so why a Land Rover well a Land Rover is one of the most capable off-road vehicles this is the LR3 one of the most capable off-road vehicles in the world it goes anywhere these things go on expeditions to the Arctic it has four-wheel drive it has adjustable suspension airbag suspension you can pick it up you can push it down um, very very capable vehicle so what a great adventuring outdoor camper conversion this became but the simple truth of it is when I got interested in car camping and van camping this just simply happened to be the vehicle that I owned so today I'm going to give you a tour of my first conversion and I learned a lot of things on this project but we'll start on the outside and one thing I also get a lot of comments on for the Prius camper is solar and there's reasons to have solar and there's not reasons to have solar. I love solar so I have a 160 watt solar panel and what I did was I bought these aftermarket roof mounts and then I just made my own connectors here from stainless steel hardware from the um, from the store and I just made some clips drilled a hole in it and bolted it down so that was pretty easy then I ran the wires into the back so I built this to be a stealth camper and to make it truly a stealth camper all I really need to do is just remove that solar panel which is just four screws so nothing much unusual on the outside I did put the wind deflectors uh, the windows came already tinted I did put blackout curtains inside um, they're not my best ones um, the ones where I'll link the video below on making the good window inserts that are insulated until you get right about here then things kind of look a little bit different yes that is a residential air conditioner and that went through several iterations it used to slide out of the car until I did some testing and all and found that it was quite efficient to have it inset so I can run the air conditioner a little bit for a while off my solar system with my batteries but this is great for camping in the summer I can just plug in and I have a lot of air conditioning so I can do a video on that sometime that was an interesting build it took, took a lot of work so I'll show you next the solar batteries now the reason they're up front is because there just wasn't anywhere else to put them so the solar system is down here in the passenger which is kind of problematic if you want to have a passenger but um, you can always just say hey would you like to ride in the back which I think they generally love to do so why these ended up here is because I didn't want to put all this power next to me where I was sleeping so that eliminated the back cabin and there's no under basement storage there's no under car storage the spare tire is accessed from under the vehicle so and there was no room under the hood so this is kind of where things ended up so what I have down here is two 100 amp hour batteries a 2000 watt inverter and then here is the solar charger which is just one of those inexpensive ones so coming off the system here is my 5 volts which runs all my USB and then this I can plug in my air conditioner to the inverter or I can plug it into shore power this is a battery disconnect so I can connect it to the car battery here while I'm driving I can recharge my batteries and then after I turn the car off I can un I can twist this and I can disconnect my batteries from the chassis battery so you could definitely buy an automatic one and those are great but this was very simple and easy so I went with this so the 2000 watt inverter is not a pure sign and I should have just spent the money and got the pure sign but actually with the microwave I have it seems to be running just fine behind this door is all the utility area things you don't see from the inside so this is a two by two stand that I built to support the air conditioner and the air conditioner actually is on slide rails from the first time around that I was doing it here I can store a two and a half gallon water jug and then there's a lot of just storage I can stick under here I have some reflectix covers I have up here stored my window screens and then this right here swings around and this catches the condensation from the air conditioner it comes down here goes in here and gets caught in this bucket over here is the back end of my storage I'll show you that when I get inside and this is where I just plug in an extension cord 
um, when I have access to that. This is an example of my horrible first attempt at making window covers. <laughs> this started off with Reflectix and it kept falling and falling. There wasn't any way to tuck it in. So this is actually duct tape. So ignore that. I'll, I'll link to a video where you can make proper ones. So when the window's up and you close it, you don't see the air conditioner. You don't see any clue that that's there. One of the really cool things about the Land Rover is the way the back hatch works. So this opens up first and provides a nice place for you to stay out of the rain on a day like this. And one of the things I made that I really enjoyed is this screen. And it's just Velcroed in here. And so this allows you to enjoy the day, not worry about the bugs, and then even keep it open at night. Put your head up here at the front and just enjoy the view. And then uh, and get good ventilation too while you sleep. And it just easily comes off, just Velcros off like this and stores up very small. Before I give you a tour of the inside, I did, if you'll stay tuned till the end, I'll talk about what I've been up to, what I'm working on. I've been, I've been building a website. It's been taking a lot of time. There's been some frustration with that. And um, I'll give you an update on all that and what we're doing and, and the Prius and everything. So stay tuned till the end and I'll go over that. Here we are on the inside and the Land Rover has actually three sunroofs. Only the front one opens. They are a bit obstructed by the solar panel, but that keeps some heat out. I've also got some Reflectix inserts I can put in to keep it uh, warm in the winter and cooler in the summer. Um, and then, so there's another one right here. And it's so nice to wake up in the morning and have the sun come through. I've got some LED lights. Also, if you're having trouble with your LED lights, I finally, I've been having a lot of trouble with these because they were attached to this fuzzy stuff, the headliner, and it just kind of kept working its way down. So I finally came up with a good solution to that. And I'll show you how I did it. So the cord comes up here, and then I mounted the whole strip to a piece of that corrugated vinyl. There we go. I just cut a really thin strip, and then the sticky strip will stick real well to that. And I zip tied it here on the end so that it wouldn't start to peel. And then on the back side, I just cut three pieces of Velcro with this with the loop side out and then that makes the whole strip stick to anything so you can put it anywhere you want any way you want and it'll stick really well and it will stay so here is my usb switcher which i've shown in other other videos and these control my lights so these control the overhead lights this third one here does this light which i really like this one because it dims it comes in real handy and then the fourth one is for my fan here, which has low and high settings. And it fits just perfect into this cup holder. And I can get it to go all different ways off there. So that has worked out well. And then when I want to store it going down the road, I can just put it like this. And it stores real well. If you've seen one of my other videos on Tiny Space Heater, yes, the space heater is back. And I found a great place to mount the thermostat for that right here on the seat belt. I can pull it, put it back, and it tucks away there out of the way. Then I have this great place for my desk, which is on top of the Dometic refrigerator, which looks pretty small in here. After staying in the Prius and coming in here, this is really roomy. So I have here a great place to put my computer and work on that. I have some storage left over here, which is where my clothes will be. It's a little odd bit of a storage because it's not level right here. So what I did is I took the shoebox size and then I took the lid and mounted it on the bottom of this with Velcro. And so then all I have to do is just set this over here and it'll set in place. And then I have room for storage underneath for underwear, uh, t-shirts, things like that underneath. And then this I can roll up and put my jeans and shirts and things like that. Also for storage, since there's a lot, here's a great place now I can have hang up storage. So this is a curtain rod, a shower curtain rod that I've just zip tied to the two handles. And so now there is hang up storage. Now that is a proper closet. So going down the road, it doesn't matter. And if you're trying to figure out what you want to wear, um, both sides are accessible. And then when you're ready, just push them to the side tuck them over and they're out of the way speaking of storage there is quite a bit with these um, storage bins i think i got this either from i think it was from walmart but normally these come three tall 
and but you can pop them apart and make them as tall as you want so I, I originally had three here and three here and then I didn't really need that much so I just took it apart and I made four so what I did was these have velcro strips I put on so that it doesn't come out and you can pull out the drawer and the drawers come out real easy so you can take them inside load them up figure out what you want to do and then come back and put them in or you can just take the whole thing inside so I'm going to use the top one will probably be um, I think personal items this one is going to be food I've got a little divider in here and um, like so it keeps things from running around some snacks for at night then down here I have a whole box of tools and things like that and then so yes this one is hard to get to but not really because all you have to do is take this one out and then you can reach in and get whatever you need from down here so that works pretty well and they go back in real easy and then just make sure you velcro them back so next we got the microwave so this is awesome this is that uh, you saw it from the back side so it's built out of two by twos and I plug it into the inverter and make my food this is the sensor for the thermostat for the heater and it's also going to be for the air conditioner so this is the residential air conditioner I did a lot of experimenting with it and I had to work quite a bit and I won't get into the depth but this is where the intake comes in from outside and it goes out that way the inside intake goes in here and has to come out through here because what it was doing was it was just circulating into itself so this is a little duct I made real simple made out of the corrugated plastic so I made a little cover to go around it because it's kind of big and sticks out and I didn't like that so I made a little cover for it um, I can run it off the invert and the batteries for several hours kind of depends how hot it is out and how long it cycles on and off um, but it is mainly for kind of a campground where you can just plug it in just let it run all the time and it runs it will now run into the Digiten thermostat one of the other neat things I made that I'm real happy about is my entertainment system so this is where I mount my iPhone or my iPad it's on one of these uh, arm mounts that are made for a lamp and so I have it screwed on here to a lid which isn't beautiful um, but it was the only place solid enough where I could get it to do that. So now this will swing around. I can swing this around over and come down quite low. And then I'll show you from the other side how I watch videos. So here it is swung out. And then I just put my pillow down here. And watch my video, do my YouTube, all that stuff right from here. And then when you want to get up and take a break, you just lift it. And it goes and stores up there. And then the whole cabin is all nice and open. You come back, just bring it back down. You can also swivel this around to look from the other side. This turns real easy up that direction. So that worked out well. I also ran a USB extension cord so I can power it through there. And then when I want to get it all the way out of the way, Put it up here, swing that arm around and it just hangs out up there and then that's out of the way. Also this is my carbon monoxide detector. All I did was I just glued two strips of Velcro on the back and it sticks very well to the ceiling right here. I love this one, it's battery powered, it's a great unit. This is my privacy curtain. I'll post the video on how to make these. Um, I made one for the Prius and learned how to do it and I did it here and you can see how well this fits. It is absolute tight. In fact what it does is it swings out a little bit and then you can pull it out of the trim piece here and then you just slide it over. And it tucks back here and then it's out of the way for driving works great all with one hand just pull it across pull it down pull the edge over pull the top tight snug it up to the ceiling tighten it down some more there we go pull both sides up and there it's up how easy is that so the video below will tell you how to make that there's two videos one on how to make the rod and then the update one which tells you how to make the curtain because the curtain in the first video is not the best it doesn't have this double pocket design 
which fills in all the gaps. So now an update on what I've been working on is I've been working on my website, which is PriusStealthCamper.com. Um, I've got it set up and it's mostly just the videos you've seen on here, but I do write articles and I'm going to be working on that and adding to it. I'm just having some trouble right now um, waiting on Google to actually do the crawl and indexing on it. So nobody can find it right now. So it's a little slow, but you're welcome to go check it out. I'll put the link below too, which is PriusStealthCamper.com. I um, have pulled this vehicle out of storage and have put Ghost away just temporarily. I uh, do have to work. I'm not independently wealthy. So I do contract work and I've accepted a three month contract in the mountains of Western North Carolina, not terribly far from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. But since I'll be working through November, December and January, I will have to deal with snow and ice and getting around in that. So that's why I've pulled out the Land Rover. I much prefer <laughs> going around in the Prius because this vehicle only gets about 17, 18 miles a gallon in the mountains up here so this is kind of eating me on the gas but on the highway if i'm nice i can get 22 23 miles per gallon so not horrible but i'm used to getting 55 and 60. but um and unfortunately i don't know if i'll be able to live in this i uh it just might get too cold because it does get below zero in the mountains and that's just probably not going to work for this but i'm going to go up next week and check on and find a, find about places to live but i can continue to post videos and travel and do all sorts of things i'm hoping maybe get up into the smoky mountain national park in the winter so um, i'm here i'm working on it i'm not going away and so um, i really appreciate you watching and staying with me and following along and i have to say Thank you so much for the kind, kind comments and the concern about where I've been. Um, I was that was really that was really nice of that, and I do appreciate it. And I have the most wonderful group of viewers, and you're very special to me. So, um, until next time, thanks for being with me and watching.